this is what happens when you get in such a rush either to attack me or a group of kids that you give seven minutes of notice before a committee hearing. You plop down what is virtually a brand new bill and make people vote on it without reading it. The Kentucky Department of Education updated their non-regulatory guidance regarding part of SB 150. They say it was designed to provide more clarity to school districts on the policies and parental notice required by Section 2 of SB 150. KDE spokesperson Tony Constatman says in a statement, quote, the Kentucky General Assembly chose to use the conjunction or, not and. When it comes to state law, words have meaning, and KDE simply read the words adopted by the General Assembly. The KDE guidance says that means schools can choose to ban either human sexuality instruction in grades five and below, or instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation for all grades. The bill sponsor, Senator Max Wise, responded to KDE's new guidance, calling it an absurd effort to skirt state law. He says in a statement, quote, It is clear the legislature meant in Section 2 of SB 150 that schools shall not have classes in human sexuality in grades 5 and below or study gender identity, gender expression, or sexual orientation at any grade level. Kentucky's first openly transgender elected official, Rebecca Blankenship, says she hopes the school districts in the state take into account the impact this could have on all children. And we know that our legislature failed to do their due diligence in terms of having a deliberative process, in terms of giving proper notice uh, to the people that they were going to be voting on something like this, and in terms of even ensuring that it did what they wanted it to do in the first place. Julia Sandor, WKYT. Daniel Cameron's campaign sent us a statement today saying, quote, why are Andy Bashir and his handpicked bureaucrats obsessed with forcing gender ideology on our parents, teachers and students? It's plain weird. Andy Bashir agrees with Joe Biden, who today described parents concerned about gender ideology as prejudiced, end quote. And Fayette County School Board officials tell us they are reviewing the guidance now and will do any initial review of any potential policy updates on Monday.